Appalling. The last masterpiece to set free is the Mona Lisa. Come on, Marcel. The Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci is a masterpiece for centuries prisoner inside a temple museum of art history. We see her smile, emerge and break free, hurling deathly kisses in cryptic letters, dragging our hero inside a fantasy world. The battle begins with Leonardo's war machines, the helicopter and the tank shooting human bombs, the Vitruvian man inscribed inside a circle and a square. The man at the center of the universe, though, is still Marcel Duchamp inside this Leonardesque landscape. Taking the tank out of action, he's freed the smile which is transformed into a flying mouth, very reminiscent of Man Ray, and now he must catch these letters. The palettes are for second thoughts. He's caught the L for now, but will also have to catch the A, the H, the O, another O, and then the Q. We remind you that Marcel Duchamp is a French avant-gardist, and that read in French, the letters are El a chaud au cul. Which is to say, if I may translate, her ass is hot. Her as is hot, she the Mona Lisa. In fact, the Mona Lisa has alchemically transformed again. Due to the avant-gardist temperature of early 20th century Dadaism, she is transformed into an androgyne, this sort of perfect being that is transcribed again anew. And it makes you think of the androgyne Marcel Duchamp. He, with his alter ego, Rose C'est la Vie. Meanwhile, Marcel has won a bonus. It was a lectern from Leonardo's initiation. Here comes the Mona Lisa. Now he has to confront her. And earn another bonus. The Mona Lisa with her quadrochromatic transformation on legs by Engre. Yes, the four colors of typography, of the technical reproducibility of the work of art, now has to be adjusted. Yellow, red, blue, black. And Marcel, with his spray can, has to capture her. But will he succeed? He has to succeed in retransforming her, putting a mustache and a beard on her, which will re-enable him to retransform her into this hermaphroditic being, into alchemic perfection, into the androgyne, into what Sigmund Freud read in the Mona Lisa, and that is to say, in the alter ego of Leonardo da Vinci. There she is, beautiful. Leonardo da Vinci and his mother. <laughs>